Hello dear friends, welcome to the weekly vlog. Today we are talking in our vlog about ourselves and how we can motivate ourselves and understand the ways to move forward because you know that we are living in difficult period of time where there is all this disease, different difficulties and the way to move ahead is, as I say in the title of this video, that if you want things to work out in your life, you have to work. So stay tuned and I will explain to you what does this mean. So you know that if you want things to work out in your life, in your physical health, for example, you need to take care of your body and of your energy. You know, we all want to be healthy, especially today that we are facing this difficulty with the coronavirus. We want to be and stay healthy and we want for this our immune system to work well and be strong and healthy and even in the worst scenario that we get the virus or we get sick to be able to pass it easily without having big problems so for this we all what are we doing we are taking these external measurements and we wish for to stay healthy but what i want to tell you in this video is that if you want things to work out in your health you need to take care of yourself you need to take care of your health and you need to learn to work with your energy and strengthen your immune system by yourself. So how we can be sure that our physical body and our health are on the best possible condition? First of all, you need to become able to feel your own energy and to feel your body from inside, to feel your inner state physically, like the, the state of your physical body. And you need to be able to differentiate when your body feels healthy and strong and well and when you feel weak. And also you need to learn how to use your own energy in order to shift this state. So if you feel weaker or that something is like going towards to be more sick or something like that, to move your energy in a certain way to activate your energy and then change this state and start feeling stronger and healthier and more vibrant and more motivated to live because this is this plays the biggest role to remain healthy so the disease is something like a block of our own physical energy because when our own energy is not flowing very well then the metabolism is lowered also and then the processes of healing in the physical body is not working well. And this happens through the accumulation of stress and negative thinking that creates inner tensions in us and these inner tensions in the body create the metabolism and our immune system to not work very well because the inner rhythms, the free flow of the energy of the body are not functioning are not happening and you cannot just wish for this to not happen you have to take care of it so that you can control this so it is possible to learn this this is why we have also tonight this online teaching to teach about this this online workshop we will repeat this probably again yes if you want to learn this go and take part on these trainings, you will learn many valuable things. So beyond your health, which is very important today, if also you want your relationships to work well, and I will explain you also that the relationships that you have play a very big role also for your health, because if your relationships suffer, your psychology suffers and then also your health suffers, because the health is very very much connected with your psychological inner state 
So if you want also your relationships to work better, you cannot just wish for it. You have to work on it. You have to work on yourself so that you are less likely to be hurt easily, to feel um, that your relationship is not good. Because when we feel from the other side that the relationship is not good and we suffer from this, we don't suffer really from the other side, we suffer from the way we react to this and from the way we relate to the other side. If the other side is not good for us, we can relate in this way that it will support our truth and we will feel truthful to ourselves and we will be okay with this. But if we suffer from the relationship we have, believing that it is coming from the other side, is because we cannot deal with this. So the problem is that we cannot deal with this, with how the other side relates to us. It's not about the other side itself, it's about how we deal with this. So you have to do this kind of work, you have to learn how to deal with the other people around you, you with your intimate relationships and any other relationship, because in the end of the day this reflects to how you deal with yourself. If for example you would like to say what you feel to somebody and you are afraid of being judged or how you will be perceived, this fear is how you relate with yourself. It doesn't really have to do with the other person. Many people are afraid of the consequences if they will do something in their relationship. This fear of the consequences is a, your own problem. It's not the problem of the other person. So you have to strengthen yourself. Always the solution is by you developing yourself. So if you want your relationship to work, you have to work. So in the end of the day, if you will not do the work, nothing will work in your life. You have to understand this is very key, very, very important. If you will stay in your life waiting for things to happen for you or wishing or just praying for the good God to help you, nothing will actually work in your life because nothing works in life until we do the work. It's very, very important. So also, for example, many people now today suffer financially, yes? And in your financial situation, also maybe you're just wishing for a better condition. You have to forget this. Better condition is not coming by itself. Actually, if you will observe the situations, how they escalate, how they evolve in life, you will see that actually what is coming by default, by itself, is coming something not better, something slightly worse as time moves, yes? And today also we have the crisis with the virus and the financial situation will go even worse. So you have to forget hoping, just hoping for things to change in a better way and you have to understand that it's up to you. You have to take things in your own hands. So. Another key aspect of our life that we have to take charge in charge is how we see ourselves, our everyday psychology. Also there, the majority of people hope that something will happen and they will start loving themselves or they will feel generally better. Again, nothing will work internally if you will not do the work and actively pursue, willingly pursue, to change the way you see yourself. It is possible. This is what we are learning, this is what I am learning for many, many years in my life, and I managed to change all these aspects of my life very drastically, very profoundly. Of course, it took some time, but now you can have the same results, the same tools, much faster, but you have to do the work, you have to wake up from the mechanical, passive way of living, thinking that following what the majority is doing will somehow help you. You see, just living as everybody else, just following the things that just come to you, just following life as it comes to you, like life takes you slowly, slowly into inertia, into more problems because in the life works gravity. 
and the things don't evolve by themselves. By themselves, the thing only become worse and worse shrink. And the people who achieved something in their life is the ones who did something about it and took their life in their own hands. So you have to do something like that, my friend, and get out of the couch, get out of criticism, get out of seeing uh, how terrible things are happening and how problematic life is going and is becoming and realize that, oh my God, if I will not do the work, nothing will change in my life. So, this is also why I created the WOW Academy, which is a, a school that we practice online also, every week, three times per week, and twice per month we have a seminar online, where I teach you practices that you can use in your everyday life, in order to transform your life and all these areas like your health, your relationships specifically, your personal power and your work, your relationship with money and the way you see yourself, all of this to take it in your own hands, transform it and actually put your life and yourself in the right track to achieve what you really want. It does not really matter the conditions of life that we have around us, like the problems that arise, Everything only depends on you, on the level that you will take charge of your life and you will decide that you have to arrive where you have to arrive no matter what. So you have to write everywhere in the walls of all your house this phrase that nothing will work if you will not do the work. Nothing will work if I will not do the work. And repeat this mantra every day, like a mantra, yes? Repeat it every day like a mantra. Because this is really the only thing that will save you. Nobody's coming to save you, but your own self, your true self. And you have to motivate yourself. You have to listen to my words and motivate yourself. I'm waiting you also to the WOW Academy to become part of this school that grows constantly and evolves and expands and helps people to become stronger and more powerful and more confident and really achieve what they want regardless their circumstances because in our school they have been helped many people who had very difficult conditions they were without money they were unhealthy they were lost and actually they achieved great things after a year or two of working with themselves seriously and also you will see that to really work with yourself is not a matter of hours or putting too much effort, but actually to make the intelligent effort and understand what you have to work with exactly and what you should do. Not all work with ourselves is the same, but only if you know what buttons you have to push and how actually to utilize them. So in these times that we are passing, I invite you and call you into action because the worst thing you can do now is use the difficulties of external life as an excuse to stay more in the couch and say you know what now I have an excuse to give up because yeah things are very difficult and anyway I may get sick I may die I may stay without job anyway why to try why to make a, an effort for anything you know, this is the worst actually that can happen to you to use the difficult conditions as the excuse to give up. If you will do this, you are going to fail. You will not achieve anything ever in your life. So you have to put an X to cut this out of your mind. And if you will see that your mind has this kind of thoughts, because your mind will have this kind of thoughts to, to keep you lazy and to keep you unmotivated, to push you to quit. If you have these thoughts, Know that this is your enemy and you have to fight these thoughts. So I'm inviting you to the WOW Academy if you want. You can push the link in the description to learn more about this. And yes, wake up, especially now. It is the right moment and you will achieve everything that you want. And you should not worry about anything. Everything is in your own hands. and. The divine power helps the strong, helps the positive people, helps the people that don't give up.
so I urge you to do this and this is where I will uh, finish the video and I will talk to you all in the next video until the next video try to stay positive stay hungry for revolution don't allow the negativity to take over you and we'll talk again very soon I love you from my heart I'm with you stay strong namaste bye bye